All right, guys, let's jump into it. And of course, I want to start off with Dylan Mulvaney. Please, again, mount that like button for me if you have not already. And let me just set up the sound real quick on this. So Dylan Mulvaney has gone to Peru to do ayahuasca. And she posted a couple of videos, and I don't want to hear anyone complaining about what pronouns I'm using. You can't compel my speech, mother effers. She has posted a couple videos from Peru, from uh, Machu Picchu, which is glorious. And just, I think we'll watch this one first, because I think that this is probably the best one. Hang. You got to get back out in the world. Get back out on the road. I mean, the core of man's spirit comes from new experiences. You gotta get back out on the quick road. One. Get back out on the road. I Listen, mean the man, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. How many of you in the chat have been to Machu Picchu? I've been to Machu Picchu, and it is an unbelievably incredible experience and where dylan is right there that's kind of like the first like you're kind of like you know you enter into machu picchu and like you like this is like you come up to like this is like your first big view of what it's like it is an unbelievable experience but machu picchu is like not easy to get through you have to go to cusco you have to take a train through the amazon like and 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 fun fact in the village of machu picchu there is a church that has a crucifix with a black jesus Fun fact, they don't let you take pictures of it or anything, but I think you can uh, you can find it on the internet. But like, you know, I actually love that Dylan Mulvaney went to Machu Picchu. The reason I talk about how like, you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get there. It really is. Um, you know, when you're going to Peru to do all this stuff and to do ayahuasca, it is like a commitment. And for all the people, I, I personally do not think that Dylan Mulvaney is faking anything. I don't believe that this is an act. I think that this is who Dylan Mulvaney is. Dylan Mulvaney is a theater kid. Dylan Mulvaney, you know, is obviously someone who likes the drama and the showmanship and all that. And this is like a zhuzhed up theater thing. But I do think this is who Dylan Mulvaney is. But let me tell you what. <clears throat> you cannot fake doing ayahuasca. You can't do it. It is not possible. And so, and so... Like when I hear people saying, eh, it's all an act, eh, my face fake it, it's all about money, bah, 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 bah. I'm like, you might be able to fake some things. You cannot half ass going to Peru to do ayahuasca ceremonies and then like culminating at Machu Picchu. You just really, really can't do it. So I want to watch this other video where I think Dylan gives us a little bit more information. Hang on. Oh, sound up, sound up. Okay, surprise. I'm in. Hi, is this an okay time? Okay, surprise. I'm in Peru and I'm at Machu Picchu. Isn't this just so beautiful? Um, I'm here by myself and I used to do a ton of solo traveling. I'm telling you, it's the best. If you could ever do a solo trip somewhere, it is such a good way to get to know yourself better. Um, but I came here to feel something. You know what I mean? And I definitely have. I've done shaman ceremonies that were like 10 years worth of therapy. It was wild. Um, I've seen a lot of llamas and the people here are so kind. I feel very safe here. It's a little sad that I had to leave my country to feel safe, but that will get better eventually. And I am dying for some Trader Joe's rolled chili lime chips. But other than that, I am so content. Still haven't been kissed yet, but I'm holding out hope. And most of all, you know, this trip has just has me feeling like I'm my own best friend again. And that is the best feeling in the world. And I hope that you feel that way about yourself too. And I love you. Okay. Bye. Much so, you. Wow. Gorgeous. Love you. Hi, is this the a reason that I bring this up? And I'm going to, I'm just going to put, I'm going to put this video with the sound down on in the background as I'm talking about this. Hang on. The reason I bring this up is I saw people on Twitter yesterday dragging Dylan Mulvaney saying, eh, she doesn't feel safe in her own country. Eh, like all the ways that conservatives do. If you've never been to Peru, Peru, and especially like outside of like Lima, okay? Because Lima is like a city and the, dri the drivers are insane. 
if you get outside of Lima, Peru is like, it is a different world, man. It is a different society. It is peaceful. It is safe. If you go into like the towns, they're, they're, they're just kids running around like all sorts of like free range children. There's still community like in, in ways that we don't have it in the United States. And I'll tell you what, when I went to Peru, I went to Peru for 10 days right after the 2016 election. I did the ayahuasca thing. I did the shamanic ceremonies. I did San Pedro. I went to Machu Picchu. I did all the things. I didn't want to come back. It is. And I, and I, th- I seriously thought when I was there, I was like, you know what? They, the people here are like onto something. It is an incredibly peaceful society. It is. And, and, and a lot of them, I mean, compared to the things that we have, a lot of the people that I met literally lived in houses that were like made out of like, we would consider them to be shacks. That's what they're living in. That's their everyday home. They don't have running water, but they are happy and they're at peace. And I was really like, you know what? Maybe there's something to this, man. Maybe there is something to it. And ayahuasca, which is what I'm going to assume that Dylan did. Okay, Dylan didn't flat out say that she did ayahuasca. But like the 10 years worth of therapy, that's ayahuasca. And you cannot fake that. You can't pretend with that. If you do ayahuasca, whether you have visions or you don't, because I've done ayahuasca many times in Peru and outside of Peru, sometimes you have crazy experiences and sometimes you just don't. And that's the way it goes. But whether or not you do or you don't, you will experience an immense amount of healing. And it's almost something that like you can't even control. Mama Ayahuasca is going to do to you what Mama Ayahuasca is going to do to you. And you will have a journey and you will understand things about yourself that you didn't understand before. I'm Peruvian. You were right about Cusco people. The rest of Peru can be very violent. We have a lot of, well, I mean, it's not perfect. That's for sure. But I didn't experience when I was there. I didn't experience the violent parts of it. I experienced you know, I experienced being around families. I experienced, you know, people, you know, in the, in like the village markets and things like that. I experienced like smaller communities. Um, so I, I have no doubt that there are problems. I'm not going to say it's a perfect place because no place in the world is perfect, but it is very, very different than here. And I love that Dylan went to Peru to do ayahuasca and to go to Machu Picchu. I love it. I think it's great. I think that Dylan, can you seriously imagine being Dylan Mulvaney? Honestly, like this is this is and, and a lot of you are gonna say, eh, he deserves it, he did it to himself, bah, 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 bah. and you're gonna use the wrong pronouns just to prove that you can, like whatever. I wouldn't trade the amount of money, like I would not want to be Dylan Mulvaney for all the money that Dylan Mulvaney has in her bank account. The amount of constant bullshit that Dylan Mulvaney has to put up with the amount of reing and crying and complaining when I'm sorry, but Dylan Mulvaney is not actually that extremist. When you watch the damn videos, Dylan Mulvaney has been turned into an easy target by the right. And I just think it's too bad because, and I've written about this before. If you actually listen to the content of what Dylan Mulvaney talks about, Dylan Mulvaney was not saying extremist things until, and I I predicted this, I was like, the right is going to radicalize Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney was not radicalized until Dylan Mulvaney was dragged across the goddamn internet every day by the conservative right. Dylan Mulvaney used to make videos flat out telling kids. Don't rush into being trans. Enjoy being a kid. You don't need to rush. These were the messages that these kids should have gotten. And they were getting them from someone they were listening to. And worse yet, they were getting it from someone on the left. So why the right picked this person to attack and vilify and make an example of, I have no idea. 
But I love that Dylan Mulvaney got the F out of the United States, went to one of the most peaceful places in the world, did one of the most intense spiritual ceremonies that anyone can do. I truly hope that Dylan learned a lot about themselves in that ceremony. And, and you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens from it and if anything changes. I mean, sometimes with ayahuasca, you would have really profound changes. Sometimes with ayahuasca, there are more subtle changes. I mean, I, I told this story recently, but when I went to Peru, um, and when I came back from Peru, um, my husband didn't go with me. I went by myself because, and I, I asked him, I was like, I asked him before I went, I was like, do you mind if I go to Peru to do ayahuasca on a mountaintop with strangers for 10 days? And he was like, Carlin, I would never do it, but you should do it. You should absolutely do it. And, and then he taught me everything he knew about ayahuasca. And he actually knew more than I did. And I thought it was great. But when I came back from that trip, first off, what happened for me is that my intuition blew open in, in Peru. And so, but I didn't know it until I got to the airport. And the reason I didn't know, because I wasn't around that many people actually in Peru, right? And so when I got to the airport, um, basically I could feel like everything. I had never felt anything like this before in my life. My And, and people who don't understand this won't understand it, but people who will, will. My intuition had blown open. And so I could all of a sudden feel everything. And I was stuck in the Hartfields Jackson Airport in Atlanta for 12 hours, basically curled up in the fetal position in the corner of one of the Delta lounges because it was so much like sensory overload from my intuition blowing wide open in the effing airport that, that it was like overwhelming. But when I came home, um, and my husband has reiterated this over years, he's like, Carlin, you were a completely different person when you came home. Completely different. And I let go of so much anger. I let go of a lot of stuff when I went to Peru. And then as I kept doing ayahuasca, my experiences with it kept deepening and deepening and deepening. And I would recommend it for everyone. I, I love, again, I love that Dylan Mulvaney's doing this because he's going to see, I'm doing the, fucking the I say he, because conservatives say he around me all the time. I really don't mean to do it. She conservatives. Dylan Mulvaney is introducing this idea to people who may not have found it yet. And I truly believe that if more people in the world did ayahuasca, the world would be a better place. So I definitely recommend it for everyone. I will say that if you're going to do ayahuasca, make sure you go, especially if you're going to go to Peru, make sure you go with an experienced shaman. Make sure you go with an experienced guide. Don't just don't just go to Peru by yourself and buy ayahuasca in like the marketplace in Cusco. Don't that's a horrible, 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 horrible idea. First off, you need a shaman when you're doing ayahuasca. Don't listen to anyone who tells you you don't need a shaman, Autumn. You need a shaman because the shaman is going to help you. The shaman's going to guide you. The, the shaman is going to look over, look like look after you during the ceremony. You want someone that has experience guiding people. You want someone who um who like there are there are different brews of ayahuasca and some are well more potent than others and you don't want to get the heavy duty sh shamanic shit in your first time doing ayahuasca you it's it's just a really bad idea um so this is a this is a spiritual ceremony you have to take it seriously if you're just doing it for the hallucinations you're gonna have a really bad effing night I'll tell you that <laughs> I I've never had a really bad night, but I have been around other people who have had a bad night. And when you have a bad night, it is really bad. And so um, I can't recommend it enough. I think everyone should do it. Just be really careful if you're going to do it. And I love that Dylan Mulvaney did it. And I love that Dylan Mulvaney introduced the concept to God knows how many people. And um. You know, even if you hate Dylan Mulvaney, you should still look into doing ayahuasca because it is it is a life changing experience.